Welcome to Greenwich Park, the home of time and zero degrees longitude. Yes, let's look over London. As you can see from the map, Greenwich Park has loads of great green space to go with your family, to go sit for a picnic, go take a football, frisbee, whatever you fancy, and go and have a kick around before you get to the top of the hill, which gives magnificent views across London. By the way, this is a gentle climb. As you get to near to the top of the hill, overlooking the whole of London from Greenwich, you'll find the Greenwich Observatory. While all of this is easily accessible, if you're coming up in a wheelchair, you'll need someone with some strong muscles to give you a good push. And as you go up, you start seeing your first sights across London. Here, we're looking sideways on to Docklands and also to East London, over the Maritime Museum here at Greenwich. Whilst we're not covering the observatory here at Greenwich, you can look around the outside, and this is a rather unusual clock which tells the time in 24 hours. But look closely, it's not a normal 12 hour clock repeated. Whilst there is the climb to the top of the hill, the view once you get there is amazing. This is the City of London. With some of the recognisable buildings dominating the London skyline, such as the Walkie Talkie and also the Gherkin. Without doubt, for me and also for our family, the view up and down the Thames with the boats going by is also well worth the visit up here to get the views. If you look at the bottom right of your screen, you'll see the masts from the Cutty Sock. More evidence that we are here in the heart of Greenwich. As we pan round more, you'll see there's St Paul's Cathedral, but if you look closely in front of it, you'll see Tower Bridge. Look even closer and you'll see the monument. So, if you're going up here to get the views, an absolute must without doubt is a great pair of binoculars or a strong camera lens, so you can really see the sights of London. Here, we pan round from the city towards East London, taking in the bottom of the Isle of Dogs and, of course, Docklands area. This is the classic view with the Maritime Museum right underneath you as you look out onto Docklands. And here you can see the Canary Wharf buildings and the ongoing development being done there. As you can see, Greenwich Park is so big, there's always plenty of space to stop, sit, have a picnic, rest and enjoy the world around you. Here we look across to East London, with the O2 right in the way. Again, if you bring a good pair of binoculars, you can see the people walking over the top of the O2. The thing that's so great about this is once you get to the top of the hill, there's a viewing platform which is free for everyone to use and also of a great height so everyone can see right around them. There is also a big guide showing you all the buildings that you can see that are visible from there at point. Whilst we're not visiting the observatory today, of course it is famous for being at zero degrees and Greenwich Mean Time. It was Charles II that appointed a Royal Commission to look into investing in astronomy. Sitting on the Royal Commission was Sir Christopher Wren, obviously well known for St Paul's Cathedral which you saw earlier, and some other famous buildings around London. Obviously he was most famous for his architecture, but also a little known fact, he was a former professor of astronomy at Oxford.
In March 1675, the Commission reported back to Charles II, recommending the foundation of an observatory, Britain's first state-funded scientific institution, and the appointment of an astronomer. Charles II apparently called for immediate action on the same day the Commission reported. So impressed was he, and John Flamsteed was named the Astronomical Observator. It was at this point that the history of Greenwich, astronomy, time and navigation began. Wren, being the architect, used the old Greenwich Castle which sat on the site for the new observatory. Here we look onto Flamstead House, and this is where the Astronomers Royal lived and worked. If you look closer, there's a line just in front here, going right across the screen. This represents GMT, and is the exact line of zero degrees. To give you some more views across London, join our playlist which I've put on the right hand side there, and I'll see you in those videos.